Yo, what's good? It's Nibble Snarf, and today I will be making the official, definitive, non biased, objectively correct Monster Hunter game tier list. Before you go skipping ahead to see the final result, because I know 99% of people who are watching this will do that, just keep in mind before typing 5 paragraphs on why my opinion is shit, just know I speak facts, nothing more, nothing less. I'm above you and will always be. The world revolves around me, and your mere opinion doesn't mean shit to my facts. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, let's start the video. I was originally going to stream this on my Twitch channel, but I'm too lazy to click one button, and also... I stream to the empty void known as zero viewers. Check out my Twitch channel, link in the description. I stream there, sometimes. Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter G, and Monster Hunter Freedom 1, uh, we'll put it in B tier. Generation is great, but very painful. Every time I play one of these games, I feel nothing but pain as 10 bullfangos gangbang my ass into oblivion. Egg slash delivery missions are the bane of everyone's existence, it's worse than the death penalty. Freedom or portable, whatever you want to call it, because the localization team thought that America didn't know what the word portable meant, made your hands transform into a pretzel, resulting in arthritis. Plus Yoth had his hip check, which hitbox was the size of the entire Milky Way galaxy. Did I mention every single monster in this game is Basarios? I shit you not, all the monsters are built different in these games. You might be asking yourself, it seems like you hate these games. Wrong. Idiot. Dumbass. It may be painful to play these games, and it might be one of the reasons why I used to cry myself to sleep at night, but it's the moments that make up for everything. Except for the egg quest, fuck egg quest. You go from taking down a velociraptor to fucking god. The first encounter with Rathalos to fighting a huge giant mountain dragon known as Lao Sheng Lung, who takes 12 years to load into a single area. A dragon that his entire body is a hitbox and can beat the shit out of you with only his kneecap. Fatalis is a fantastic fight. After fighting all these exotic, weird, Ugly, I'm looking at you, Yangaruga, you Kyle from Despicable Me looking ass. You find a normal dragon. His design is so plain looking, but don't mistake him because this motherfucker is god of the universe. This formula has been beaten to death, but it's the first to do it, and you gotta give credit to these games. Also, fuck Rathian. Let's put Freedom 2 in A tier. Freedom 2 is great. It introduced Poke Village, which has one of the best themes in video game history. Why didn't I put it in S tier, though? It doesn't have the word unite in it, and Tigrex is the flagship. I hate this piece of shit. I don't care what you think. I don't kill him to progress or to get his gear. I kill him purely out of hatred. Okay, Freedom Unite, easy S tier. It has the word unite in it, automatically making it S tier. The flagship of this game is Nargakuga, who is one of the coolest monsters to roam the earth. They took Tigrex and somehow made him cool. Tigrex is still in this game though, which still concerns me, but at least I don't have to look at him every time I look at the box art. Anyway, Monster Hunter Fuck You is the Monster Hunter that started the fast-paced trend we see in current Monster Hunters, but not to the extreme as others, which I'll get into later. This game also had Yukanlos, whose name alone makes any longsword main cream themselves. This may come as a surprise, but Monster Hunter Dose is actually going in S tier. Capcom decided to say fuck counting in English like these other video game companies, we count in Spanish, bitch. Dose is a one of a kind Monster Hunter that we'll probably never see again. The majority of people who are watching this video probably never even played this game because Japan likes to think that the West is too stupid to understand their games. But with a few totally legal downloads, bam, you could play this game for free. This game's pacing is extremely slow. If you have no patience, this game isn't for you. But for the elite people who have patience, such as myself, DOS is a game for you. DOS is the most immersive monster under date and probably won't be topped in this category. It makes you really feel like a hunter. DOS makes you wait until seasons are over so you can go to one area because in the summer the deserts are too hot and in the winter the mountains are too cold. The clients actually show thanks by taking you out to eat which builds depth in the village. DOS is a game about a tower, a really big tower. Apparently a bunch of people hated Kushala so much so they mass murdered them to make a tower out of their skin. Then Lunasha killed them all. It shows symbolism that nature will always prevail or, or some bullshit. Anyway, spoiler, you kill Lunasha. After you do that, it makes you realize that everyone in the ancient civilization are a bunch of bitches. You're telling me they could kill all those Kushalas? The ones who can create tornadoes at will, but can't kill a single blue line? Did I mention this was the game that also introduced brain damage? I'm of course referring to the game that introduced people to Longsword. I'ma put Portable 3rd in A tier. Portable 3rd is a great game, especially for weebs. Yukumo Village is one of the best hub areas in video game history. Zenogre is badass, just listen to his theme. 
If this team doesn't scream, I'm gonna kick your ass. I don't know what done. Amatsu is a cool elder dragon that has very cool female armor. Why am I skipping the major points about Portable 3rd? Because I can't hold it in any longer. The next game is just too damn good. Try is going in S tier, baby. Let's go. Try is a gift from God or Satan, depending on whether you like the underwater combat. Try is without a doubt the best Monster Hunter game in the entire franchise. Shut the fuck up for you dick riders. Your opinion doesn't matter to me. Remember what I said. I speak fact, not opinion. Am I saying this because Try was the very first Monster Hunter I played? No, that'd be silly. I told you this list is non-biased and objectively correct. I'm not afraid to admit it. I like underwater combat. Monster Hunter. I feel like it has a bad representation because the console it was on was the Wii, which didn't have good controller designs, and it didn't help that most people played 3 u on the DS. I hate the DS controls, they make me rethink my life. I even like the PSP controls more. Try has a third amount of monsters as Rise and still manages to have more content. Anyway, Try is a game about earthquakes. While investigating them, you find Lagiacrus. Lagiacrus? Lagiacrus? Lagia Chris. You find Lagia, no one knows how to pronounce his name, who is one of the coolest monsters to ever exist. Look at him. You're lying to yourself if you don't think he's cool. After that, you stumble upon Seadris, who has a banger of a theme. Holy shit! Such an amazing final showdown. Alatrion, he'll fuck you up. No joke. Gobol is, well, Gobol. Chacha and Kayamba are little coconut dudes who help you out on hunts and have pretty deep motives. Cha-Cha is better than any brainless cat you'll ever own. After saving the village, the end credits play, and holy shit, what an end credit scene. You get to see a dancing Cha-Cha while listening to this beautiful song in the background. Try story is simple, but it works. Also, this game added the best weapon in the entire mainline series, aka the Switch X. 3U is an easy S tier. Try, but more monsters and faster pace. Of course it's S tier, dumbass. Remember when I said most people played 3U on a DS? Well, my psychopathic ass is one of the very few people who bought a Wii U. And I bought 3U for it, and in the end I made the right decision because fuck playing this on the DS because 4 was a hassle on that thing. First things first, Nibble Snarf was introduced in Portable 3rd, but I was too much in a rush to talk about Try, so I'll talk about him here. Nibble Snarf is a majestic, perfect being that we don't deserve. If I find out anyone who killed him, I'll find them, strap them to a chair, and force them to play the egg quest from Monster Hunter 1. Oh fuck, that's gonna be a lot of people. Dire Morales is my favorite monster. I know, it may be shocking to some of you, but it's the truth. You fight a walking volcano underwater and on land. This fight is without a doubt the coolest in the franchise. Somehow this game made Plesioth, yes, the thick fish fucker, have an enjoyable fight in this game. Who knew adding underwater combat would make this fight so enjoyable? This is why underwater combat is good. Please Capcom add underwater combat back, I'm begging you. For you, it has Guildmarm in it automatically makes it S tier. Why is Guildmarm so great, you may ask? It's simple. It's because she wants to get railed by a Bracadillo. Okay, moving on. For you has the best story in the entire franchise so far. Emo Monster gives other monsters the frenzy virus. Every game until this one, you've been mindlessly killing other monsters and skinning them alive so you can make that cool hat you wanted. But Gormagala had enough of your shit. You're Gormagala's bitch now. This emo fucker stalks you for the entire game. After you piss him off just enough, he turns into Shigaru Magala and have an epic anime-like showdown. Seriously though, this fight's amazing. Shigaru's standing there while all the leaves are blowing around while you two battle it out one-on-one. -on -one. Gagmazios looks like something that you'd see while having sleep paralysis, but still manages to be cool. Delmador is probably the number one cause of Ophodiophobia. This game also made Kirin cool. The Insect Glaive was introduced in the 4th generation, but no one no one gives a shit about that weapon. Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate is going in A tier. Holy shit, that's a lot of monsters. They added uh, old villages back, which is neat. Hunter arts are very cool and make combat really fun. The reason why I'm not putting Genu in S is because I feel like without the other games in S, this game wouldn't be a thing. Deviants are cool. Some of them make you like a monster that you hate, loathe, despise. Fuck you, Tigrex, I still hate you. What the fuck is this end credit scene? Am I on fucking acid right now? They also didn't add gigantic snake and demon that lives under my bed into the game. No Moga Village? Are you fucking me, Capcom? Unacceptable shit game. Monster Hunter World Iceborne is gonna go in the C tier. World is good, but the story is terrible. I wouldn't be so judgmental about the story if the game wasn't meant to be heavily story-based. You only kill monsters because of colonization? Somehow it gets worse when you kill monsters who want to die. Every single monster you 
kill in the Rotten Vale is proof of this. Nergigante helps you kill life-threatening Elder Dragons. You know what you do to him? You kill him. Anyway, after feeling like a filthy, good-for-nothing murderer, you're greeted by the Handler. I hate the Handler. It's that plain and simple. I just hate her. A lot of people hate on her because she says we in quest and hugs your palico. I think that's fine, she does deserve to say we, and your character never hugs your palico, so I don't get why people get mad over that. The grandma from Freedom Unite is better than the handler, and I'm not joking. Now is hating on her because she isn't Guildmarm a valid reason? Absolutely yes. They added good quality life changes, you either like or hate the armor system. All in all, world is pretty good. Monster Hunter Rise, D tier. Oh boy, where do I begin? Rise is an amazing video game, but not a good Monster Hunter. The game's pacing is very fast, too fast. The Palamute along with the wire bugs makes the hunter traverse the maps in seconds. They remove tracks and paintballs, instead your character has spidey senses and can tell where the monster is at all times on the map, making it easier for the player to get to the monster. Removal of cool and hot drinks, apparently the hunter doesn't feel a thing next to lava. Mining and bone searching only take one turn instead of three, making the process of grinding faster. Wyver riding and turf wars deal massive amount of damage to the monsters you are hunting so it can die faster. When Wyver riding, you get a shit ton of materials making the process of grinding faster. All these things may sound great, but when you put them all into one game, it makes the game's pacing extremely fast. It doesn't feel like Monster Hunter anymore, it just feels like a boss rush. People will probably argue that talismans take long to get, and you'd be right. The thing is, talismans don't mean shit when I can easily get max critical eye and attack boost so easily. For fuck's sake, there's a sword and shield in the game with 100% affinity! The last boss of the game is shit. Surprisingly, Tigrax isn't my least favorite monster. My least favorite monster are these two dumbasses. Norwood's fight is a joke. Hey, you're trying to kill me? Okay, here, have cannons and ballistas to kill me with. Wait, that's not enough. Here, let me break the rocks that are guarding the massive nuke so you can drop it on me, dealing massive amount of damage so you can get done with the fight faster as possible so you could grind useless talismans. <sighs> Rampage is basically Clash of Clans, but boring. Apex monsters exist. I don't care because they offer no benefit to the game. Hinoa and Minoto are good guild maidens, but they still aren't guild marm. Wait, what was that? This video took so long that Capcom dropped a new trailer. Monster and Arise, an expansion, Sunbreak. All right, play it. Okay, Capcom, I see you, but I want two things, Nibble Snarf and Guildmarm. Take it or leave it. So yeah, this is the official Monster Hunter game tier list. Share this with every single one of your friends and stranger that uses the internet. Subscribe to get a million dollars, Frontier should come back. Now I'm gonna go play Try for 500 more hours and cry myself to sleep because no one loves me. Okay, bye!